And the Biden administration says it's reached a new agreement with Mexico to address the humanitarian crisis at the border. President Biden is sending 1,500 active duty troops to deal with an expected surge in migration on the southern border as a pandemic era policy comes to an end. ABC's Elizabeth Shelsey joins me from the White House for more. Elizabeth, Mexico has agreed to continue accepting some migrants expelled by the U.S. So how will that work with Title 42 coming to an end? Hey, Diane. Well, this is the latest in a series of steps that the Biden administration has announced ahead of that expected surge of migrants at the southern border when Title 42 ends next week. Remember, Title 42 is that pandemic era policy that allowed the U.S. to quickly expel migrants without allowing them to seek asylum first. So overnight, this agreement announced with Mexico, basically Mexico will continue to accept migrants that the U.S. has sent back over its border from four countries. Those four countries are Cuba, Haiti, Nicaragua and Venezuela. Notably, this is a policy that had already been in place, but the announcement is that it will continue to be in place. It's not clear from the joint statement that was released exactly what Mexico will be getting in exchange, Diane. So what role will U.S. troops play at the border and what other actions is the administration taking to prepare for this expected surge of border crossings? Right. So these 1,500 active duty U.S. troops are expected to go to the southern border next week. Title 42 lifts May 11th. They will be in place by then and are expected to be there for 90 days. But the Pentagon is making clear that those troops are not going to be serving a law enforcement purpose. Instead, they are there to fill, quote, critical capability gaps like ground based detection, monitoring and data entry and warehouse support. So really assisting the effort on the ground with customs and border protection. You know, we did see just last week the White House announced other steps to try to deal with this surge. We saw that they will announce new data processing centers to try to speed up asylum claims in some countries in Central America. Obviously, there is a concentrated effort from the White House here to show that they are taking steps ahead of Title 42 lifting. Diane. So what message is the White House sending here and how dicey of a political issue is this for President Biden? Right. You can't talk about these steps without talking about the political reality. And the fact is that there is going to be political backlash from this expected surge of migrants when Title 42 lifts. And the Biden administration is trying to get ahead of that now, trying to get ahead of some of the backlash that they expect to see in the coming weeks. So the president really trying to walk a fine line here. On the one hand, you have Republicans who have pounced, saying that he has taken a more lax immigration policy stance than, of course, his predecessor, former President Trump. But then you have Democrats accusing him of taking too hard of a line. Just last night, Senator Bob Menendez came out with a pretty scathing rebuke of the Biden administration's announcement that it will be sending these troops to the southern border. So really a position where the president trying to show that he is taking a more compassionate approach to immigration policy than the previous administration, while also making clear the border is not open. Diane. All right, Elizabeth Chelsea at the White House. Thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.